Hi, welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson number 85. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the alignment feature in Xara Web Designer in Max Premium version 8. And we're going to talk about alignment in terms of horizontal alignment using a selection bounds option. And if you don't know what I mean, don't worry, I'll show you in this tutorial. Also, I want to make another note. And that is that pretty much this feature is for the most part standard across all versions of the Xara Web Designer software. So you should be able to follow along with me even if you have a previous version of the software. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is go to the upper right hand corner and click on your designs gallery. Go ahead and lock that panel. Click on page elements and then go to the photos folder and then you're going to select the landscape photos folder. I already have mine open because I used this folder previously. So what you want to do when you get to that folder is you can drag any images that you want to in your workspace. In this case I'm going to drag in um, five images into my workspace. So go ahead and pick whatever five images that you want to use. In this case I'm just going to grab some pictures randomly for the sake of making this tutorial go at a decent pace. So once you get five images into your workspace, let's go ahead and close out the designs gallery. And then let's hit the control A function. And that's going to select all the images. And I'm going to move up a little bit so that I can see my resize handles. But you're going to use one of these resize handles to make your images a little bit smaller. And once you do that and make sure that they're able to fit into the workspace, we're going to click in an empty space in our document. And we're going to spread these images out. And there's a reason I'm doing this because I want you to be able to see um, certain things happen when we make the alignment adjustments. And I'm going to make one of these images bigger than the other ones. So make one of these pictures bigger than the others. And then once you do that, let's go ahead and hit Control A again. And that's going to select all the images. And then go to your Arrange menu in your menu bar. And then look for the option called Alignment. And alternatively, you could have pressed Shift plus Control plus L, and that would have brought this dialog log up automatically. But if you didn't do it that way, go ahead and left click on that. And that's going to bring up the Object Alignment dialog. And the first thing I want you to do is to check both your horizontal positions and your vertical positions and make sure that it says no change. In this case, I have a line left because I used the dialog before, so I'm going to set that to no change. Okay? Now, Within the first set of options here that says within, make sure that the option selection bound is selected. And basically what that is saying is that it's going to use the object selection bounds as the reference point. In other words, it's going to use these images as the reference point for aligning the objects in our workspace. So make sure you have that selected. The next thing that you want to do is under horizontal positions, you want to left click on that dialog box and select align left. And you'll notice that in our object alignment dialog, it shows all the, the clip arts images here. In this case, a, a ellipse and a little rectangle. It shows it all aligned to the left. And that's basically giving us a preview of what's going to happen when we apply this option. So let's go ahead and hit apply. And you'll notice that all of our images are now aligned to the left edge using that selection bound as the reference point. So it's all aligned to the left. And if we were to change that and select align right, you notice that in our object alignment dialog, it now shows all the images aligned to the right. And if we were to hit apply, it's going to align all those images to the right. So basically the, the object alignment dialog gives you a preview so that you have an idea of what's going to happen depending on what option you choose. And if we were to select the next option, in this case, which would be align centrally, you'll see that it shows that it will align those objects centrally based on the center point of each of these objects which would be its, its current selection bounds. So if you hit apply it's going to align all those images centrally. So hopefully you understand what's happening in, in terms of how it's aligning those objects and if you have any questions please feel free to send me a message on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to embed, subscribe, or comment and let me know if these tutorials are helping you to better understand how to use the software. And also make sure you give us thumbs up if this video was helpful and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.